Hi friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is Liz and I am so happy that you're here because today I'm gonna to be reviewing the brand girlfriend collective and they're an eco-friendly activewear brand I'm so excited to review their stuff I've been trying to get my hands on some of their clothes for a really long time now they've been sold out they'll have a launch they'll sell out immediately they're so popular but I've heard such great things about them and yeah I'm just excited to finally review them for you guys before we get into that though, I do post a lot of activewear reviews, bikini reviews here on my channel. Basically just trying to help women out there find things that they can feel comfortable and confident in. So if you like that sort of thing, make sure to like and subscribe. I will also have all of my social media handles, links down in the description box for you if you would like to follow me over there. All right, so Girlfriend Collective's website is super transparent about all of their processes and how they make every single piece of their activewear. They don't only have activewear either, they also have like underwear, socks, scrunchies, t-shirts. And they did also just come out with a new line that's more of like a softer brush, kind of like leisure material, not so much the active compression stuff. And they use recycled water bottles to make their clothes, which I think is so cool. They have their own factory where they like make all of their stuff. So they basically take like the little chips of plastic and melt it down into the fibers for your activewear. Their mission is so awesome. They also have fair wages in their factories and they have this re-girlfriend initiative where after you buy their stuff, they don't want you just to get rid of it when you're done with it, which has kind of become a trend now with fast fashion. You just buy something for cheap and then throw it away or thrift it or whatever. Um, but you can actually send your girlfriend pieces back to them and they will give you $15 credit towards another purchase with them so that they can then melt down your activewear and use it to make more activewear in the future. If you're interested in learning more about their process, I'll have their website linked down below in the description, as well as the pieces that I'm talking about will be down there too. I don't plan on getting into all of the problems with fast fashion in this video. If that's something you would like to see, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. There are also so many videos about that already on YouTube. Let me know where you stand on that. Are you somebody who's trying to be sustainable and know where all of your products are coming from? Or do you like those fast fashion websites? You know, I'm somewhere in the middle. I really want to be more sustainable, eco-friendly, and I'd rather be purchasing from companies that are doing good for our earth. But most of the time, those brands are more expensive and not everybody has the budget to invest in pieces like that. So I am definitely somewhere in the middle, but I'd love to know where you are. Also, if there are any other eco-friendly brands that you'd like me to check out, definitely drop them down below because I'm so interested in this sort of stuff now. Girlfriend Collective is also an incredibly inclusive brand, which we love. Um, they have size extra, extra small through 6XL and the models they have on their website are so diverse. We love to see it. I fall somewhere between a medium and a large in this brand like I do for most brands. So I got the leggings in a medium and a large to kind of compare and let you guys know what I think. I'll have all of my measurements listed down below in the description box as well so that you can kind of compare how it looks on me to how it look on you. And I'll also be wearing their seamless thong with all of these things. So we will see if they are squat proof. All right, now talking about price, honestly, <laughs> They're pretty mid price range for activewear. You know, when people hear sustainable, they think it's gonna be super, super expensive. And a lot of brands are, but I don't know how Girlfriend Collective does it, but like the sports bra that I got is $38 and the leggings are 68, which is pretty standard, I would say. Their packaging is also obviously eco-friendly. It comes in like this paper packaging. And then their items don't come in those little clear plastic packages that most clothing does. It comes in these little reusable bags instead. All right, I got their Marigold Paloma bra. This I did get in a size medium. And like I said, these pieces are their compressive pieces. Um, there's no padding in the bra. And the fabric is just like a nice, soft, compressive fabric. I don't really know what I was expecting actually, but it does just feel like a thick activewear fabric. Very nice quality, has a little racer back, and then the band just has like this softer material around it. All right, so the tag says they use eco-friendly dyes to make sure that any wastewater used is carefully cleaned and cooled before it's released, and that their pieces are made in an ethical factory that guarantees fair wages, free catered meals, and a safe and healthy workplace. I got their leggings in that same marigold color. Um, these I got in a size medium. There is a front and back seam and then the seam that goes along the top of your booty does have a slight V right there. The waistband is double lined and then the rest of the leggings are just like that one piece of fabric. They have a little tiny pocket right there in the waistband for you. Um, and they do have a top seam as well. They have three different lengths offered and this is their longest one, their full length one. I'm not sure if they'll be restocking this color because I know that they don't 
overproduce things because they don't want to like be wasteful obviously but they do small launches they do have their like essential colors that they try to always have in stock but yeah i do think that adds to why they sell out so fast all right as you can see the sports bra is a little bit more of a long line sports bra and then it's just got that racer back it's super comfortable, very compressive. That's how I like my sports bras though. It doesn't feel like it's digging into my lats or anything right here. Feels very secure. Because it is that thicker double lined material, it does feel like it's gonna hold me in nicely. The leggings are definitely on the more compressive side. I especially feel it like around my calves, but it's nothing uncomfortable. They feel like they move with my body pretty well. And I don't feel like that top waistband is digging in or anything. These feel like such Nice quality. I think they're really flattering. The waistband feels like it's holding me in nicely, but it's not squishing my butt down or anything. It's got these seams right here on the front, which I think are so flattering. And it's got the curved seam right here. This is such a summery set. They offer like shorts, skorts, stuff like that. And they have that color too. So if you don't want a legging set, you can get it with like biker shorts or something. They have so much cute stuff. And now I just want to try it all. And then I did get those same leggings in black in a size large, just because like I said, I didn't know what size to go with. I was right between the two, especially because I knew they were gonna be compressive. You know, when it's like a new fabric, you don't know how it's gonna fit. All right, so by sizing up, the waistband doesn't feel as compressive, I guess. And there's just like more material up here. It does still feel kind of tight around my calves and they are the same, like 28 inch length. These still fit me really well too. I, these are just like, not as tight. I mean, obviously you go from like one size to the next, it's not gonna be as tight. But these don't feel like too big on me by any means. They have that same flattering front seam right there. The slight V in the back. These are nice. And for $68, I am all about that. Supporting brands that are truly trying to do good in this world. You know, with everything going on, you gotta get behind those brands that you truly believe in. And this video is not sponsored. These are all my honest opinions, and I think I'm a pretty critical person. And I love this stuff. Guys, I am obsessed with this brand. Oh my gosh. If you have the means to, I definitely think you should look at investing in brands that are trying to be eco-friendly, sustainable, help the environment. I know we talked about the price point a little bit earlier, but let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are on this. If this has been something you've been aware of for a while now, or if it's something that you're just kind of seeing now that it's becoming more trendy. I would love to make this a sustainable series on my channel where I talk about brands that are trying to do good for the environment. I will have some of my other videos for you here on the screen. Make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you later.